Module 5, Lesson 15. Find common units or number of units to compare two fractions. Here we're asked to compare 3 fourths and 4 fifths. What we have done in comparing fractions is we've used benchmarks. We've used benchmarks like 0, 1, and 1 half to be able to help us compare. And another way that we've been using to compare fraction is to find like units. In this case, our denominators are not related. I can't get from one to the other. Let's try drawing area models for each of these. Here's three fourths. One, two, three lines to divide it into four parts. And it's shaded. For four fifths, I have four lines to divide it into five parts. And I was looking at four of those. So here in our area model, we have three fourths. Here in our area model, we have four fifths. Do we have like denominators? Nope, we don't. What we could do, though, is we could draw horizontal lines to divide it into five parts, and our first model into five parts. One, two, three, four lines. Now, instead of three-fourths, we are looking at what? We went from three-fourths and multiplying by five in the numerator and denominator, we got two fifteen twentieths. Five, ten, fifteen out of twenty. If we do something similar here, but instead of drawing four lines to divide into five parts, we'll draw three lines divided into four parts. And so we have originally four fifths. And we went to multiply it by 4 and multiply it by 4. We went to 16 twentieths. 4, 8, 12, 16 twentieths. So now we have like units and we're comparing 15 twentieths with 16 twentieths so that 3 fourths is less than 4 fifths. We made common units so that it would be easy to compare the fractions. We drew area models to support our work. Let's compare two fractions that are greater than one with unrelated denominators using number bonds and area models. So let's first start with a number bond for 5 thirds. Let's break it up into its holes. One hole is equal to how many thirds? Right, 3 thirds. And then how many more thirds to equal 5 thirds? Right, 2 thirds. So 3 thirds and 2 thirds gives us 5 thirds. With 7 fourths, our number bond would be what? Right, 4 fourths and 3 fourths. So 4 fourths plus 3 fourths does equal 7 fourths. just as 3 thirds plus 2 thirds does equal 5 thirds. Since the holes are the same, they both have one hole in them, we can just compare the fractional part, 2 thirds and 3 fourths. Let's once again draw area models to assist us with this work. So our first area model that we'll draw is 4 2 thirds. Remember the holes were the same. So we will keep 
don't have to compare those. We already compared to those with 1 and 1. So we have 2 thirds there, and we have 3 fourths here. Let's continue our area model where we write it on out. We have 3 fourths there and 2 thirds there. And in this case, we're going to go from thirds to, well, we had 4 here. So 3 times 4 is 12. And how do we get 2 twelfths from here then? We draw three horizontal lines. So counting that from our model, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight twelfths. Two thirds does equal eight twelfths. Here's our multiplication sentence that shows that. And we can do the same type of thing for the other model, except we're going from three fourths to twelfths this time so that we have those common units that we're looking at where we would multiply by 3 in the numerator and in the denominator. If we're just showing that multiplication by 3, then we'd have to draw 2 rows to divide it into 3 more parts, to triple the amount of parts. We have twelfths, and we have 9 twelfths. So 8 twelfths is less than 9 twelfths so that 5 thirds is less than 7 fourths. Okay, it's your turn. Compare 3 fifths with 2 thirds. Make sure to have common units as well as to draw an area model for each of those fractions. All right, start with 3 fifths, 2, 3, 4, 3 of them. For two thirds, start with thirds, and again, color in two of them. Make sure to label our area models. What did you go to? Well, let's see. Three fifths. I'm going to multiply by three in the numerator and in the denominator. Just took the other denominator and multiplied it by it. Not only in the denominator, but also in the numerator. Three times three is nine, five times three is fifteen. What does this mean for our area model? Well, we draw two horizontal lines to divide it into 15 parts. So we have 15ths, and we're looking at 9 15ths here. For our other one here, it is 15ths for sure. So we're going from 3 to 15, so that we have common denominators. To get to 15ths, we would have to draw four horizontal lines for five parts there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this is 10 fifteenths. So 3 fifths is actually less than 2 thirds because 2 thirds does equal 10 fifteenths. And here is our multiplication sentence to show that work. Look over your work. Make sure that you made area models, labeled them properly, and found that common denominator. Here's three final problems. In some instances, you can draw models to help support your work, and in some instances, you'd be able to find a common denominator. In our first case, look, we can get to 3 to 15 very easily. These look like related denominators. So 3 times 5 is 15. And if I multiply by 5 in the denominator, I must do the same thing in the numerator. So that 2 thirds does equal 10 15 and I know that 10 fifteenths is less than. In this next example, 3 fourths and 5 sevenths. Huh. Well, if I count by fours, it's 4, 8, 12, 16, oh. Can't quite get to 7. So I'll take the opposite denominator. I took the 4, and I'm multiplying by 4 over here. Not only in the denominator, but also in the numerator. That way, I'm looking at 28 and 5 sevenths does equal 20 28 3 fourths equals how many 28 so that I have common units? Multiplied by 7 and multiplied by 7. 3 times 7 is 21. 
so that 21 28 is bigger than 20 28 That is, 3 fourths is bigger than 5 sevenths. Can you try that last one? What would you have done? Did you multiply by 9 in the numerator and in the denominator? Did you get 2736? And we want common units. So we want to get from the ninths to 36. We'd have to multiply by 4 not only in the numerator, but also within the denominator. So 5 ninths is actually equal to 20 36. So that 5 ninths is less than 3 fourths. So it's best to find common denominators to be able to show our work. And we've looked at some different approaches to do so, including the use of area models.